Hi. Today we are going to be starting out with Kramer's rule, which is not a circuit solving technique, which is not for, you know, we're not doing any sort of circuit solving right now, but this is def definitely required for the problems that we're going to be doing after this, which, uh, which are mesh analysis and node analysis. And uh, for solving three equations, system of three linear equations, like before when we, while we're doing simultaneous equations, before we could solve it by em elimination or substitution technique, which were easy, but when we have these three uh, variables, three unknown variables, that time we wouldn't need to do this calculation. This is called Kramer's rule. Now, first, first, what we would do, these are the three equations, one, two, and three. These are the system of three linear equations, x plus two, y plus z equals two, blah, blah, blah. So the first step what we do is, we when we try to find the value of x, what we have to do is we just have to uh, write the matrix in this format. First, we have to write down the matrix, uh, the values of the, the coefficients of y, uh, x, y, and z in this in this uh, denominator. So one, two, and one, which for x, y, x plus two, y plus z, and two x plus three, y plus z. So two, three, one, and zero, zero x plus one y plus one z is zero, one, one. And we would write the same thing in the numerator two, except with one slight change. Since we're trying to find x. We have to write the the uh, this th that we have after the equal sign in the place of where we would write x. Like before, it was what one, two, and zero for all the coefficients of x. Since we're trying to find x, we're gonna have to write this the value after the equal sign, uh, two minus one and zero in the place of x. I mean, in the in the column of x. That's why it's better while you're writing the equations, you have to write it down. Uh, you know, like in a serial format like x plus 2y plus z it's easier to write it down if you wrote x plus z plus 2y it would be kind of tough to you know it would, you would be it would be confusing to write down the the this equation this calculation that we're trying to do similarly for y if you're trying to find the value of y the denominator will be the same for all like we just write the coefficients of x y and z in the denominator and the numerator the only change that you would have since we're trying to find y we're gonna write this thing in the y in the place of y like before it was two three and one so now we are writing two minus one and zero that is the values after the equal sign all right so let's show one example let's try to calculate for x this is not the only thing that's different you would like see later on there's also another difference that you would have to uh, keep in mind now when we are trying to calculate two uh, I mean, when we try to cal calculate the numerator let's do the numerator part first so we take two uh, this is like the, when when you're calculating uh, determinants this is kind of similar to that but there will be a difference a little bit, you'll see it. So two into, we're just trying to uh, multiply this, this two, but three into one, into one, let's give a third bracket here, three into one minus one into one, one into one. That is one into one, three into one, so three into one. And also you'd have to keep in mind that you have to first, sub first write three into one first and then minus, one into one. If you wrote one into one minus three into one, there would be <clears throat> change in the answer. So it's better if you just follow this format. All right. So and then, and then another difference that you have to notice is that when you're writing this, you have to write minus two, not plus two. It will be like this. The first one will be plus. The second will be minus, and the second, third one will be plus. Fourth one will be minus. Something like that. So this was plus. This is minus. And then, then later on, when we try to write one, that would, that time we would just write plus one. All right, so minus two into like now two is taken, so we are trying to multiply this and this. So minus one into one minus one into zero, not the other way around, not one into zero minus minus one into one. You have to write this one into this one minus this one into this one. So minus one into one minus. 1 into 0 and then plus 1 so plus 1 what we have is th multiply this and this so minus 1 into 1 again minus 1 into 1 minus 3 times 0 all right so this was for the numerator let's let's do the denominator part again and right now so 1 1 is taken 3 into 1 minus 1 into 1 so 3 into 1 minus 1 times 1. Again, now there will be minus now. So 
minus two. If there was suppose minus two, then this would definitely become plus two. I mean, basic you know mathematics. So minus two into then we just multiply two into one minus one into zero. So two into one minus one into zero. And then <clears throat> and then we have plus one. So we multiply this two. Two into one minus three into zero. Again, remember, we can't do 3 into 0 minus 2 into 1. That would give a wrong answer. So 2 into 1 minus 3 into 0. 2 times 1 minus 3 times 0. All right. So this is how you would do it. Now let's just calculate. Use the calculator and try to calculate. So we have 3. Uh, 2 into 3 minus 1 is 2. Minus 2 is minus 1 minus 0, so minus 1 plus 1 is minus 1 divided by 1 into 2 minus 2 into 2 plus 1 into 2. So we get 4 plus 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 4 plus 2. So we have 6 minus 1, which is 5 by 4 minus 4 equals 0. Now, this is a random problem I made, so that's why the answer is coming out to be 0. Uh, it would be something else, of course. I mean, I just made this with using random numbers. That's why the answer is coming out to be infinity. Uh, but whatever problem you would select, of course, it wouldn't come, like, they wouldn't give, they wouldn't make the problem set in such a way that your answer comes out to be infinity. That would be ridiculous. I mean, what's the, what's the, what's the point of calculating that? So, yeah, uh, that, that's just basically an example of how to calculate using Kramer's rule. And this would be required a lot, lot, lot more in the future. I mean, while we're doing the other methods of analysis of DC circuits. So yeah, this is how you would solve the system of linear equation of three of three variables. And uh, we would do the same kind of, uh, try to remember these rules that you have to put minus here, plus here, and plus here. And also that you have to, while you're multiplying, you have to first multiply this minus this, not this minus this. I mean, first one, this one, minus this one, not this one minus this one. Or else the answer will come out to be wrong. So yeah, that's about it for uh, the Kramer's rule. Next, we'll start out methods of analysis, mesh analysis, which is a really important one. And uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and good luck.